In this video, I want to highlight the difference between a direction and a bearing. So let's start with bearings. What is a bearing of 100 degrees? How can we represent that? So this is north, this is south, east, and west. Now, is direction stated? Because no direction is stated, we need to rotate in a clockwise direction, starting with the north line. So this is 90, and this is going to be 100. And so that's how we can represent a bearing of 100. Let's try another example. So what if we want a bearing of 250 degrees? Go ahead and draw a picture for that. So we have north, south, east, and west. So once again, direction is not stated, so we need to start with the north line, and we need to rotate clockwise. So this is 90, 180, this would be 270, but we can't go that far. So 250 is just before 270. So 250 would be in that region. So when dealing with bearings, always start with the north line, and then rotate in the clockwise direction. Now let's say we have the direction north 30 degrees east. How can we represent that direction with a picture? So because direction is stated, the rotation may be clockwise or it may be counterclockwise. So we're going to start with the north line and then travel 30 degrees towards the east. And so we're going to get that green line. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, for example, let's say if we have north 50 degrees west or 50 degrees west of north. Go ahead and draw a picture that corresponds to that. Feel free to pause the video. So we're going to start with the north line, and then we're going to go 50 degrees towards the west. So we're going to have a line in this region. So here we have a clockwise rotation, and here it's a counterclockwise rotation. So if the direction is stated, simply follow the direction that's given to you. If you have a bearing where the direction is not stated, then you need to start from the north line and rotate clockwise. Let's try one more example. South 40 degrees east. Go ahead and try that. So this is north, south, east, west. So this time we're starting with the south line and we're going to go 40 degrees towards the east. And so that is 40 degrees east of south. Now let's work on an example problem. A ship travels 50 miles from Lakewood Island to Seacoast Island at a bearing of 120 degrees. The ship begins to depart from Seacoast Island, traveling 120 miles towards Keystone Island at a direction of 30 degrees east of north. How far apart is Lakewood Island from Keystone Island? So feel free to pause the video and go ahead and give this problem a shot. Now, if you want to find more example problems, there's another video that I've created on uh, bearings and word problems in trigonometry. I'm going to post a link to that video in the description section of this video that you're currently watching. So if you want more problems, just click on that link and then you can go ahead and work on some extra problems. So let's start with Lakewood Island. I'm going to call it LI. So this is north, east, south, west. So the ship, it travels 50 miles from Lakewood Island to Seacoast Island with a bearing of 120. Now, the direction is not stated. So we're going to start with the north line. This is 90, and this is about 120. So the ship is going in this direction. So if this is 90, this portion here is 30. So it travels 50 miles. Let's put 50 mi, mi for miles. And then the ship arrives at Seacoast Island. Now this is north, east, 
south, and west. Now from Seacoast Island, it's going to go 120 miles towards Keystone Island in a direction north 30 degrees east. So the direction is stated. So here's north, here's east. We're going to travel 30 degrees towards the east. So the ship is going to go in this direction towards Keystone Island. And our goal is to determine the distance between Keystone Island and Lakewood Island. So let's call that D. The distance between Seacoast Island and Keystone Island, that's 120 miles. So how can we calculate D? Well, the first thing that I recommend doing is finding all of the interior angles of the triangle. So we already have this one. That's 30. Well, at least a portion of it is 30. We don't know what angle uh, this is. But we do know that this is 30 because notice the Z that's formed. And so these angles are alternate interior angles. Now, between north and west, that's 90 degrees. So if this whole thing is 90 and this is 30, this part must be 60. Now, we know that we traveled 30 degrees east of north to go from Seacoast Island to Keystone Island. So that means this is 30. So that tells us that this is a right angle. And that's all we need to know in order to solve it. We're dealing with a right triangle. It doesn't matter what this entire angle is anymore. So I'm going to redraw the picture. So this is Lakewood Island. This is Seacoast Island and Keystone Island. And so this is 90 degrees. So that's our right angle, which means D is the hypotenuse. This is 50 miles. And this is 120 miles. So now all we need to do is use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for D. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Let's say a is 50 and b is 120. So c is the hypotenuse, which we represent that as d. 50 squared, or 50 times 50, that's 2,500. 120 squared is 14,400. And so if we add those two numbers, that's going to give us 16,900. Now, let's take the square root of both sides. Now, what is the square root of 16,900? 16,900 is basically 169 times 100. And so you could separate it into two uh, square root numbers. The square root of 169 is 13. The square root of 100 is 10. So it's 13 times 10, or 130. So that is the direct distance between Lakewood Island and Keystone Island. It's 130 miles apart. And so that is the answer for this problem. So once again, if you want to find more problems on barons and trigonometry word problems, check out the description section of this video. Or if you want to find more videos on trig in general, I do have a trigonometry playlist. And you could just go to my channel, take a look at that. And you can find any of the common videos that you'll typically see in the, in the common trigonometry course. So that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.